All right, so here I'm going to kind of give some advice on how you can actually diversify yourself as a teacher. And really, this isn't just limited to teachers, but since that's who I'm mainly talking to right now, hopefully talking to, um, this is something that I'm actually doing in my own life. So I'm only suggesting some things that I've been working on for the past just two years, just just two years, just trying to build up right now since 2016. So actually, maybe three, maybe three. Um, so yeah, it'll be three in October. But anyway, that's not the point. So how to diversify yourself as a teacher. First thing is content creation. So everything that I'm doing is, is based on online activities that have some offline requirements, but they're still online. Okay. A list of things that I provide, you know, we're talking about writing. Okay. You being a teacher and what I was talking about earlier, you have a plethora of experience, a plethora, plethora of experience that you can actually leverage. You can actually package up in a nice little bow write it out if you if you can't write yourself even if, if you're a math teacher so i hate to crack that math joke get a ghost writer you know write about maybe your own personal teaching experience what and american education has a lot of problems what problems have you seen that you feel like you've tackled in the in the time that you've been a teacher and that you felt like you you approached to solving and have had some success maybe in your classroom taken care of those are things that you could write about maybe in the form of a blog maybe in the form of an actual book maybe you want to even package it up into a novel one of the best books that i've read in the past couple of years three years has been console wars and as a big retro being into the retro video game scene and appreciating that that story was very historical i thought the writer um blake j harris did a really good job like writing that in a story form but also giving us the history between the battle between sega and nintendo so you know you can also that's also a technique transcription services all these videos, all the videos that you see online, everybody now is trying to put some form of video online and they need somebody that's good at writing scripts. And even if they don't need somebody to write scripts, they take care of that themselves. They want to kind of separate that content, separate pieces of that content from the video. You can actually transcribe that video when you're trying to create maybe written content for maybe a blog post. It's a technique that's happening right now. It's, it's nothing new under the sun, but that's something that you can also do. Maybe with you being an English teacher, you know, you could parlay all of your gifts of writing granted that you do have a skill set in right now imagine so if you're an english teacher you should be very you know intermediate at least in, in reading in the art of reading and writing so i'm going to make this suggestion with that assumption and of course you can also be an author or you can ghost write for somebody so that's something else uh graphic design i put this up here and i put graphic design and web designer up here because that's my second career outside of teaching and i've learned this from my first poor experience I had from my first school that I worked for and I it, it showed me that I actually have to diversify I have to like not put my all my eggs into one basket and that whole you know principle holds true to this day so with graphic design I practice and do a lot of Photoshop and just messing around with images, playing around with it, just having fun like I'm playing some video game and, and Illustrator. Those two things for me go hand in hand. So you're creating vector images, you're, you're taking maybe some physical images off of somebody else's picture and you're making a story out of it. There's so many creative things you can actually do with it and people just pay you a lot of money just for that. And even creating these YouTube thumbnails, everything that you see that has my name on it all the content is something that I had to actually do on my own right now I'm a one-man show and I enjoy the art of actually creating content and, and doing things like this so I, I'm happy to suggest that that's something that you can actually you know take advantage of if you are a teacher web designer you know they have things such as Photoshop other content management systems such as Wix and Squarespace that you can actually learn and master these are tools okay most people think that these things replace web designers developers that's not the case at all you will always need a web designer and developer because you need somebody with the vision the expertise on how information needs to be structured the hierarchy of it how it's going to play in the psychology if you're building a restaurant website for somebody you, what should go at the top what do people need to see based on what that brand is producing and based on what their audience their customer base needs you need an intermediary for that these things are just tools wordpress all that are just tools you can also if you need to you can go to maybe a boot camp as expensive as they are and learn how to code me i went to derive for two years this this is where i was introduced to this so and and it was expensive but for me it was valuable it was worth it so i don't really care if people have derive jokes it's 
it was good for me. So this is something else that I also done in the past to earn a, a bit of extra income on the side. Very, very small, I must say, for this video. But nonetheless, it's just been extra and it's helped me. So that's another thing. Videography. You have people that want YouTube channels. You have people creating video content. You need why a personality wants to focus on being in front of the camera. Maybe you could focus on being behind it and going through the editing process. Maybe your actual creativity will really shine through when you're actually editing a video, adding certain elements to it, sound effects, things that you think will be cool to really make the plain video footage just pop. You know, and I, I enjoy being in front of the camera. I've, I enjoy doing this commentary. Editing is not my thing, but it, it's a necessary, I'm not going to call it evil. It's just a necessary thing I have to learn. And sometimes I get to exercise a lot of my creativity just doing it. So videography, editing, filming, whatever your case, whatever your, your flavor is, that's going to be a good shot to go to being an audio personality you know maybe starting a podcast right now may be the best bet for you um whatever you know doing audio books maybe you can actually be become a, a personality a vocal personality and doing audio books and pretending to read something like i could just change my voice right now the farmer went to go plant a banana and, and rent to go eat it with his children like oh, okay that was corny but you get the point okay you you have to like kind of find these talents you have to make you have to use everything at your disposal you have to dig up things about yourself you never thought you could do before and you have to make it a possibility it's right now that's the that's the time that we're living in at this moment you know so even if the things that i've done is starting you know a youtube channel and it's starting to make videos and starting these brands didn't make money immediately it's it's really only a matter of time it, it just really is so you just have to keep just kind of grinding and just keep I don't want to use the word hustle but you just have to just keep working towards that and being consistent those are better words okay sales and marketing this is the other side okay uh, I have a video and again man I this bad I can't remember the name of the video but I think it's um the the golden skill or something like that I'll put a link up here somewhere for that uh, or a link below for you to see that as well but um, but yeah, sales is a key golden skill. But let's look at the things I also put here in a box. Okay, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google AdWords, social media specialist, content marketer. Okay, when you're trying, once you have content and you have a product created, you do need to get it in front of an audience. But once you actually identify what problem you're trying to solve and what you're trying to do, then it's easier to actually kind of identify the people that you need to reach. You don't need to reach everybody. You just need, this is the internet. You only need to reach a small pool of people price your product based on what you feel is valuable for or what the maybe the market will tell you of its value and use one of these channels Facebook is probably one of the more popular ones in terms of advertising and getting those eyes you know to see what you're actually selling I see a lot of Facebook especially with games mobile games I see a lot of cool games just pop up on Facebook ads and I'm not offended I'm not offended when I see these ads most people make a big deal about seeing advertisements I for one am actually glad I saw this because if I didn't I wouldn't know about it and that's the same type of mentality you have to, have to actually have I'm not offended I don't sit up here like oh, oh what is this pocket what is this doing on my wall oh, oh it's messing up my my scroll through oh, oh. most I, I guess most people make a big deal about that but these types of advertisements I don't mind seeing because usually they're they're recommending me and sending me content that I really do care about i'm like oh this looks cool i'm going to check this out this is awesome you know you could also be a social media specialist you know if you like to specialize and spend a lot of time like talking to people online commenting that sort of thing which i like to do but i don't like I don't, me personally I, don't, I just like creating the content and doing that which brings me to our next point being a content marketer um i like producing content and putting it to different platforms and just putting it out there you know i spend probably marginal time like actually marketing it which i probably need to just set a day just to market it but for the most part i like to create content and i like to try to get in in front of people that would care about that based on the title based on you know several other key factors so i like to create the content you know but you once you create it it has to be marketed it has to be shared through social channels and it could be advertised whatever the case may be but if you're going to advertise something you better have an end goal like you're trying to get maybe more email subscribers you have a website you want to capture more email subscribers so you can get this and have your own personal list of people that you can sell things to or, or market con your content that you're creating to um, you may want to run ads to some content to have some people buy into it so they could buy your product but when you run ads you need to have an end product now 
with actually speaking on all of this, this brings me to my actual next point. Okay. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. Okay. This may be true, but it's crap. <laughs> this is how I just feel about this. Uh, I don't really, <laughs> I don't know Jeff Bezos. I don't know Jeff Bezos at all, but, um, I've been, you know, buying with Amazon for a while, and yeah, yeah, that's after over time, there's been some trust. But when they first came out, I just took a shot on. They had some stuff that I wanted, I bought it. Like there wasn't no meeting, you know, the 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 CEO of the company, there was no meeting, no sales rep. It was all online. They had what I wanted, I bought it. It's as simple as that. That's the way it works online. Now, if you're in network marketing, where it's a a people to people business. You know, that that may very well be true if you're trying to recruit and that sort of thing. But even with network marketing, the, the most people make it about the recruitment. They don't really make it about the products. And if you have something that will solve a problem in my life, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, like, get it. If this, you know, if this, if it feels like it's going to help me in some way or appeal to my my sense of inter to being entertained, then, yes, I'm going to spend money on that. Um, so my better advice is actually find a problem and solve it with a product or a service. I didn't write service down there. But, you know, people need to get over that whole, you know, uh, people buy from people they know like like sell and trust even with me being on um teachers pay teachers right now you know even with me being on teachers pay teachers uh, nobody really knows me on there okay my whole brand that i have on teachers pay teachers right now that i sell it through here at this moment okay nobody nobody knows me i just you know i i, I identified a, a problem that people were going to, you know, possibly have the teachers want to have, specifically English teachers. And I explain that even further through my website. Um, I explain that even more so through my website. So let me try to pull that up here for a second. Okay. And I go through the story and tell people like why I even created this, but I wanted to make things convenient. I wanted because I know as a teacher when I have to differentiate for students, I have to find something. You know, I, I may want to do a story, but then a student needs an audio version of that story or written questions. They don't have an audio version. They one of their requirements on their, you know, um, maybe special education documents is that they need to have some sort of audio auditory piece to accompany that piece of information and that's what i did i wanted everything to be all in one place so that's what last minute lessons reading audio series does it takes classic stories i read these stories okay um with my own vocals read them like took time at night taking two hours or wherever however long it took to go ahead and read those stories so it could be convenient for teachers they can have something all in one place links to kahoot it quizzes gamified experience like i really thought this through and i really thought about the type of person i wanted to help that's all that i did all right there wasn't anything i nobody knew me you know i, I put this information together so you know people can see like oh okay all right well he he really does like this guy really want wanted to really help me out and from there maybe that's where the trust will come in at but at first you know most people's instincts are you know if this is something that's cool or you're going to want this from me or this is going to help me then I'm going to buy it so I I personally think that whole like like sell and buy trust whatever this is crap it may be true later on but first you need to solve a problem find a problem solve it with a product and then maybe build that trust afterwards you know but um but also too you know it's it's also like you have to build an audience as well on 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 the internet you know depending on what you're trying to do and just kind of get a trusted fan base later on so maybe one i think the problem solving happens before the actual like sell and trust whatever anyway that's going to be it for this video okay it's going to be all for this video it's been a very long video but i hope everything i talked about has informed you entertained you and helped you out all at the same time like share subscribe wherever you're at wherever you're watching this deshaun johnson glad to help out i'll see y'all in the next video god bless y'all